Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in um, this tutorial we're going to start a little detour where we're going to look at connecting to a JDBC. Um, we're going to look at connecting to a SQL database, I should say, using JDBC. So this isn't part of Swing and this applies to any kind of Java programming, including, um, including like servlet programming. But uh, the reason I'm including this in this series of tutorials is because I've found that a lot of people who write Swing applications want to connect to a SQL database. So um, I'm just going to, I'm not going to dwell on creating databases or anything like that, but I'm just going to show you the minimum you need to connect to an existing database and to save stuff in it, retrieve stuff from it using JDBC. So um, uh, I'm going to start by, I've actually already um, to actually connect to, um, in this case, I'm going to connect to a MySQL database that's running on my on this um, machine that I'm working on here. And to do to connect to a MySQL database, you need the MySQL Java connector jar, which I've got here. Um, and if you search in Google for that, you'll find it um, very quickly, and you can download it. I think from the MySQL website, um, just search for like MySQL Java connector, and you'll find this jar. And you need that to connect to databases using, using JDBC. So to start with here, uh, I'm going to go to Eclipse and I'm actually got, not going to use my user interface here because one of the advantages of um, keeping your backend separate um, uh, or keeping it separated in code terms from your front end is that you can test the back end separately. Uh, I'm going to do that here. I'm going to actually create a new class and I'm going to call that test, uh, let's call it test database and let's give it a main method and I will type in here just sys out um, running database test and I could actually use a JUnit test here as well but I'll just stick with a simple uh, main method for this, this tutorial Let's right click that and go to run as Java application. So it runs down here. And now I'm going to go to my database class and I'm going to give it a method called public void connect, which is going to connect it to a database. And I'm also going to give it a, um, let's see, let's have the closing bracket there. I'm going to give it a public void disconnect. And I'm going to test those from my test application here. So I'm going to say database db equals new database and then I'm going to say db.connect and db.disconnect. So we're just going to connect and disconnect for the moment. And um, yeah, let's see. So that's public void connect disconnect. And uh, yeah, I've got a, yeah, I've added the import there already or added automatically. Um, and it's saying that the method, oh yeah, I've just got to save it. Sometimes Eclipse can be annoying and if you don't save stuff, you get an error when there isn't really an error. Now in the connect method, I've got to just do two pretty simple things. The first thing is I need to say class dot for name. And here I'm going to dynamically load the class that um, is actually the MySQL Java connector driver. So in here I'm going to put com dot mysql dot jd bc dot driver and um, if I, I need to handle the exception around that because it has a throws a class not found exception um, and I'm going to throw that out of my connect method, method saying um, let's just throw new um, let's just make it new exception um, driver not found like that um, and I need to say throws throw new exception and if I save that now I can add a throws declaration actually after I add the semicolon I can add a throws declaration to connect um, and now I'm forced to handle that um, where I use it so here I can say add surround with try catch and then here I can say um, yeah let's just leave it with e dot print prints that trace in a moment. So I'll see an error if it can't load that driver. And if I run it now, I'm going to see that error. 
because the drive is not found. And what I need to do is right click my project here, go to build path, um, and in um, in like NetBeans for example, um, you have to right click and go to properties I think, and you find a similar thing there. And I need to go to um, libraries, and I'm going to go to add external jar because the jar is not actually in my project folder. And if it was, I'd say add jar. And let's go to the location where I put the jar file that is that contains the driver. So go to tutorial swing, um, scroll down here. Here's the MySQL um, connector. And now if I run this, um, I don't get the error because it's actually managed to load the class, which is good. Now the the second thing that I need to do here is. Um, I um, need to actually get the database connection. So for a moment, I'll just say connection con equals driver manager dot um, get. Let's add the imports there. So I need Java SQL connection, and um, I need to say driver manager dot get and get connection. And we're going to use the form that has um, the username and the password. Now the first argument here is a kind of connection URL string and it looks um, something like this. So let's say um, string um, connection uh, URL. I'm not sure if URL is quite the right term. I think it is actually. But um, that's going to look like this. JDBC, the name of the um, technology I'm using to connect. And I'm, I'm going to connect to a MySQL database, and then we have um, it looks a bit like a um, drive specification. So uh, if I remember rightly, it's colon slash slash, and then we need local host because I'm connecting on this machine in this case. And you might want to make that configurable in your application, of course. And it's going to run on port 3306, and later on we're going to get these connection details from um, from the actual um, dialog where you can specify the preferences dialog where you can specify these details and then finally um, I've got a database set up already called uh, I think it's called swing test so this specifies where and how to connect to your database and if you have Oracle of course it's going to be slightly different um, and that's the first argument here connection URL um, in fact let's just call it URL so make that URL and now I need the username which is going to be root um, and in the real world you probably don't want to connect using your root user you probably want to set up a user especially for your database and connect using that with restricted privileges um, and I'm going to use my um, root password here which is this extremely cryptic string although I don't know why because the port is not even open to the outside world so it probably doesn't matter too much um, and then um, we're going we're gonna to paste the password in there um, and then we'll see if we can connect or not so um, if um, I think like so if this can't connect um, it's going to throw a SQL connection which is um, it's going to throw a uh, sorry a um, SQL exception, SQL exception, uh, which will be thrown out of my connect method here as um, an exception. So because I'm using the base exception class here, of course this can, um, any exception can be thrown from from there, which is perhaps not best practice, but it'll do for now. And if I run this now, you can see there's no exception, so we assume that we've connected successfully. Um, and now I'm going to take this actual, this connection object here, and let's say I'm going to just put in a few refinements here and then we'll leave the rest for the next tutorial but I'll say private connection con there so we'll connect there and then in disconnect I'll say um, if con is not equal to null then we're going to call con.close Um, and that throws an exception too and I'm just going to surround that with a try catch um, and I'm just going to I'm just going to put a sys out I think um, can't close connection so I don't care so much about, about that exception 
and um, in my connect method I'm going to say if uh, if com is not equal to null then I'm just going to return and not do anything so I want to make it safe to um, call connect multiple times there and for the moment I'm just going to put sys out here sys out um, connected connected and just so that we can see I'm just going to put um, let's output the um, connection object as well so if I run that now you can see it says connected and this is the two string method on the connection object um, and let's, let's delete that now uh, so that's it for this tutorial um, I'm just going to leave it with connecting to the database and in the next tutorial we're going to look at retrieving data from the database in fact maybe it makes more sense to look first at saving data so we can look at saving data and then after that we can look at retrieving data so join me again next time uh, and until next time happy coding <laughs>